In this video, we're going to put together another option out there for you guys that like to keep tortoises. The people over at AV Tuven sent us their tortoise house for us to put together and give a review on. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this fun little build. But it really wasn't that bad to set up. No, not at all. This is pretty easy. We were done in like 20 minutes or so, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it says 45 minute assembly, but it definitely didn't take us 45 no, minutes. Definitely not, even though she messed up putting the top on. <laughs> so, the AV Tubin Tortoise House measures, what do we got here? About 38 inches long. It is 22 and a half wide and about. 13 tall. It's made out of cedar wood, so it's nice and soft, but the screws are also really soft too, so don't go getting all dad on this and try to use your screw gun, which is what I wanted to do. You have to use a screwdriver no so you don't- power tools, Dale. Yeah, no, no power tools. You have to use a screwdriver so that you don't uh, strip the screws. So the instructions, super easy to follow. You're really just putting together a box. That's what it is. Everything was lined up nicely and labeled properly, which you don't always get. So props to AB Tuvin for that. It comes with all of its own hardware, pre-drilled holes, uh, the hinges and the locking mechanisms were easy to line up. We needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle doors. Um, it has a wonderful smell. <laughs> it yeah. smells like cedar. Yeah. That was very potent when we opened the box. It like was. my eyes did burn a teensy bit. <laughs> it's very lightweight and easy to manipulate. So it does say it's a two-man assembly, but I really think one person could put this together very easily if Definitely. they needed to. Um, I mean, there's dowels in place to hold everything together while you're screwing it in. Mm -hmm. And uh, a plexiglass was already assembled. So really, like Chris said, it's just like putting a box together. It's very simple. So it was also the mesh top here. This is already in place. So you don't have to do any kind of crazy fitting or anything. It's ready to go. And everything, you know, what's nice about this is everything really lined up. You know, I know anybody out there trying to build things, when things don't line up, it's like, come on, you know. But the dowels went right into the recessed holes that are already there. And uh, really, you know, like you said, one person job, I, we personally think. Okay, so now that we are done assembling it, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of this AV Tubin tortoise house before we put the tortoises in it. One of the best things about this thing so far, as, th as far as aesthetics go, is I really love the plexiglass windows that they've installed there. They give you a nice little more of a viewing window for them, and they won't bother the tortoises because they're above where the tortoises are gonna be. These latches are really cool. The lid is very easy to open and there's a nice stand there to prop it open so you can feed them and check them out and change their water dish and do what you got to do. And I believe over here the hiding area also has a stand. So there you go. You can stand both parts up and easily work inside this thing. And then when you're ready, you go ahead and close them and you'll notice here this cutout. This is where the tortoises can go in there to hide so they can say nice dark and secure, which all tortoises need. It really has a nice finish to it. I like the color that they picked. It actually matches some of the other enclosures in here. Uh, I think you guys can paint this on your own though if you want to do a different color. The hinges were all in place. Uh, we did have to drill our own little holes here to get the hinges to sit properly, but like I said, everything lined up really nicely and it is, uh, it's good to go. Probably my absolute favorite thing about this tortoise house is the bottom tray that they've installed here. This is a nice plastic tray, which is gonna enable you to use a moisture substrate, which is crucial for tortoises. So that's really nice. A lot of the other houses out there, they don't. So you've gotta line it with something or you've gotta somehow seal it. You know, it's added work. But AV Tubin has put in a tray already, which makes cleaning easy. And like I said, helps keep some of that moisture in. So, the one main issue that I found with this so far is the bracket here to hang a light. It doesn't really make sense. It fully attaches to the back of the enclosure with screws, so it's not on a swivel or anything like that. So when you go to open it, even without a light on there, that's as far as you're going to get. But then, when you go to hang a light, well, you're not gonna really get to do much at all there. There are, of course, smaller spotlights, but even if they're maybe like this high or something like that, it's just not gonna really work. So I would recommend not using this bracket, which we are not going to use. 
Instead, you can get these at pet stores or at Amazon, and these are the metal ones that they sell. You can extend them pretty darn high, and they also outwardly extend. And what you do is, this is the uh, bottom of it, the base of it, you're just gonna slip this underneath the enclosure like that. So the weight of the enclosure fully weighs it down so it's gonna go nowhere. Then when you go ahead and install that light, and again, folks, this was made for these lights, so this is safe. You get the idea. Now you can adjust it however way you want. So you can bring it closer to the tortoises or higher, depending on the wattage you're gonna use. And then when it comes time to open it, you see you still don't have clearance. Well, guess what? This does swivel. So you just bring that backwards like this, and boom, it opens all the way. And like I said, you can get these reptile hanging devices on Amazon or at pet stores. They are inexpensive, they are metal, so they are very sturdy, and they work beautifully. All right, so for this enclosure, we're gonna go ahead and use a mercury vapor bulb. This one is 100 watts, which is perfect for the animals that are going in here. If you guys wanna see some other ideas for lighting and the different combos you can use, I would suggest going back to some of our Toad Ranch videos where we get a little more elaborate with the different types and appropriate lighting you can use for tortoises and other reptiles. But mercury vapors are good, especially for what we are putting in here because they provide both UVA and UVB. And there you go. We got a nice wide spectrum of light there. We've moved it to one of the corners because the basking site for a tortoise should really be limited to one side or corner of the enclosure. So they're not getting blasted with heat across the board. That wouldn't be good. These are juvenile Indian star tortoises. They were produced by our good friend, Anthony Pierleone of the Turtle Room, and he recently sent them to us. I believe they're yearlings, but they are well past the hatchling size. As you guys can see, this one's like triple the size of a hatchling, and they're this one beautiful. is, this one is at least double the size of a hatchling. And this is important because we specifically chose tortoises that are a little bit bigger, but not too big yet, that have hardened shells to go in this AV tube and tortoise house. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the substrate to this enclosure. What I've picked is Reptisoil, made by Zoomed. This is really good stuff that's got a uh, good mix in it. And I'm also gonna add some play sand to it. Yes, play sand. As we've discussed in many of our tortoise care videos, sand is actually a very natural and safe component for tortoise substrates when it's used properly. So, start by adding this. Each bag is 10 quarts, so we're putting a total of 20 quarts of this awesome reptisoil in it. And now I'm just gonna kinda guess how much sand I'm gonna add. I'd say that's maybe another seven or eight quarts of the play sand. And we're gonna go ahead and just thoroughly mix this up. We're not keeping them on a substrate of straight sand, but we are using it as one of the main components in this. And there's already some sand in this reptisoil mix. So right now, these two little Indian star tortoises are between two and a half and three inches long. So they're a ways off from being adults because Indians are full grown up between six and nine inches respectively, but they are out of the fragile hatchling stage to where they don't require constant, sufficient humidity and moisture, but they are nowhere near that adult size to where they're getting crammed. Now you can marry two of these AB tube and tortoise houses together. It's in the instructional manual. Uh, one of the ends here, I'm not sure which one, you simply don't install it and you connect the two and brackets come with it to hold the two together should you choose to buy a second one. That'll give the tortoises double the length and more time to spend in these before they have to be moved to a true adult enclosure. Now how long can they spend in this? Well that's really hard to say. These two tortoises are the exact same age at about a year old right now but one is larger than the other. Just like people they grow at different rates yada yada. So you're gonna have to watch that. As the tortoises are approaching four four and a half inches I would say you at least need to marry two of these together to give them that six plus feet of room. They do need to move around. But again, the species Indian star and the age that we are talking about here are really good candidates for this because this is more of an open enclosure with only, 
you know, moderate humidity in it at best. It's wooden, it's not gonna hold what you need it to hold. You can put a Tupperware on the inside of the hide here with a hole cut out that the tortoises can enter into and you can fill it with sphagnum moss or something that holds moisture and that'll help them. But obviously you're gonna wanna give them uh, a nice clean water dish that needs to be cleaned every single day so that they can drink and soak in. And of course, we're gonna have to add proper decor to make the tortoises feel at home and give them little areas to exercise in. So we're gonna do that now before we go ahead and add the two little tortoises. <laughs> What's, what goes in this? In water. That's right. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this water dish in. This is an exoterra naturalistic looking water dish. I like these, they're super heavy, so a tortoise can't flip them. I'm gonna put it in this corner over here, away from the heat lamp, and recess it in, so that the tortoises can easily walk in and out of it. And this is a decent sized one that, I don't know, I think this is about a half inch deep or so. Uh, for a hatchling, this would be too much, but again, talking about these well-established juveniles or yearlings that are of decent size so they can easily use this water dish. There we go. That's crucial. That's in place. Now we can have some fun. So I have some Timothy hay here and I'm going to dump this in the hide area to give the tortoises some areas to kind of root underneath and feel secure. Any tortoise is gonna spend a great deal of its time hidden under vegetation so it can avoid predation. And even though these are captive bred tortoises, they have instinct. So to further make them feel secure, we're gonna add one of these little plastic hide areas. I think this is made by Exoterra too. I don't see their logo though. Nonetheless, it's good, it's naturalistic looking. We'll put this in the back corner here. And it's just enough room for the tortoises to fit in and out of, at least for while they are this size. Eventually it'll be upgraded. But again, like I said before, you could put a Tupperware in here for added moisture if you want to do that. Okay, Albel, you ready? Let's wait. You want to put some rocks in now? All right, let's do this. Can you lift that? Here, help me. I'm not as strong as you. <laughs> so we just have some flagstone or slate rock, and we're going to position this towards the back here. Because what we're going to do is create a nice little basking area for the tortoises because this is where the light's going to be. So carefully put these in place. You got that? Okay, it's heavy. And it kind of goes well with the, the um, water dish here too. What do you think, Ellie? Yep. What do you think, Cease? Good, yeah. You like it? No, yeah. Hold on, I'm not ready for that yet. Now, if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm trying to make everything nice and level so that there's not too much climbing involved because although you want them to get exercise, you don't want them to start flipping themselves over unnecessarily, but the rocks and other decor will help them pivot themselves should they flip over. Let's see, where should we put this? How about this over here? Nice log, right? We could do... That looks good. You think so? Yeah, that looks really good. I think it should good. be... Pretty good. That looks good? Okay, hold on. We're not ready for that yet. <laughs> what I actually want to do, we're going to slip this fern underneath that rock so it's nice and held in place. This is a fake fern. No, there's no danger of the tortoises ripping pieces off of this. You can get these at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Did I say Hobby Lobby? Yeah, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. I know this. All right, all right. And we will put this over here by the basking area. Looks like, like a nice little succulent coming that up in between the rocks. So good, Dad. Does it? You like it? Yeah. I'm still not sure about this. I think. I think I like this here. And you know why, folks? Because this adds another visual barrier for the tortoises, which is really important. And they'll start creating little paths every day because tortoises That's are creature. Good, Dad. Yeah, tortoises are creature of habit. So they'll come out of their hide here and they'll walk underneath the fern and That's around the log. Good, okay. Thank you for your help. Now we just gotta put some water in the water dish and the tortoises, right? Are you ready to do that? I do. Put them in the box. Now go. <laughs> Good job. Yay. Yay. 
So there you have it, our brand new AB Tuvan enclosure for our two juvenile tortoises. Wasn't too bad to put together, and I think it looks really nice. Yeah, I, I actually really like this. Like I said earlier, I think this is appropriate for juvenile tortoises that are between two and a half to three inches. That's like one to three years of age, typically, uh, that are a little bit more arid dwelling, and they're not fresh hatchlings that need such high levels of moisture. I think it's really, really attractive looking. I love the color of it. I love the craftsmanship. Like Casey said, very easy to put together. And think of it as kind of like a middle school for the tortoises, you know? They're not these little tiny things that need constant attention, but they're also not approaching adult size where you really need to worry about space. And again, you can put two of these together. So... Yeah, it's a really good in-between. Yeah, it really is. It, yeah. it's, it's really an excellent choice. And, uh, you know, they, they, they went a little bit further than some companies do by adding that plastic tray at the bottom so you don't have to worry about the wood rotting out. Um, um, and you uh, you have these plexiglass windows which are really nice so you can look at the tortoises without always disturbing them. Yeah, yeah. that's a cool feature to have. Yeah, I like that. Definitely is. So uh, thank you AV Tubin for choosing to work with us and sending us this beautiful enclosure. You guys can actually use our exclusive link in the description of this video to go purchase one of your own and uh, share with us down the line what you think of it. Let them know and uh, we wish you luck with uh, your future endeavors with your tortoises.